It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1991, recorded Thursday, June 6th, 2024. Got a light? On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have two. What the heck is this? Could you ask for more? Well, we have more. I have a new theme for my crappy corner and your viewer videos all next on the Gizwiz. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now, and here he is, the angler of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir, and you? Doing good. Did you ever do fishing on your boat much? No, I, I, no. You're more speedboat, houseboat, yeah. dance boat, not fish no, boat. I could never bear catching a fish, so I never, ever used my boat for fishing. Just, I, I, I used to tell people, the only reason I bought a boat is I hate sand. <laughs> so the only way to get into the ocean without going across the sand is to approach it from the river. From the water. From the That's water. That's great. Yeah. Thinking, okay, I'll I'll buy a boat and. Uh, yeah, I'll, and there's not really a peer culture, is there? You know. You no, no. Yeah, I'm no. really into peers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love the ocean and the water, but hate the sand, so I love peers. Nah, nah. Yeah. No, yeah. So it's a good reasoning. Yeah, I like that. I agree. I think fishing. I like the the vibes of fishing. I like the atmosphere kick back, hang out, do some fishing. I guess fishing on a, uh, is fishing on the ocean any more exciting or less exciting than river fishing? I don't know. Obviously yeah. you wouldn't either. You didn't, <laughs> neither no, of those are fishermen. No, not at all, no. But no. yeah, the idea of, of the hook and right. that that is the process to by that's... which to catch it, like right. that's just so, like, We've gone from cool, fun, hang out times with beer to caveman, barbarian uses a hook and a string to catch that creature in the water. And uh, I think it, the, it gets a little free. I kind of, I'm like, I need city. <laughs> no, getting, no, I, no. We're getting absolutely. too deep. <laughs> this is too a much. <laughs> Years ago, um, I was at a movie house. It was like an art theater that showed those movies. And they had this short of this man fishing and getting these beautiful fish and just throwing them on the beach. And he's eating all the whole time. He's eating and eating and fishing. And then he looks in his lunchbox and there's no more food in his lunchbox, but he's still throwing these fish on the, on the sand. And then he looks down and he sees, oh, it's a candy bar. So he picks up the candy bar and starts to eat it. And a big hook comes out of its cheek. And the line gets taut. And he slowly ah! into the ocean and disappears. So, well, I thought, oh, my God. And then That's the credits came up. <laughs> And it was written by Al Felstein and William M. Gaines. So it was the guys who worked on Med. Bill was the founder of Med. But in the early days, they had Tales from the Crypt. They had all these horror comic books. Oh, my gosh. They were into, like, the... Yeah. Yes, revenge. Yeah. The revenge of the fish. The 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 the, the mad stuff was the fun stuff. And yes, they had, exactly. They had, it, they had art of all sides. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was that fish was justice says seems to Rachel. Yes, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh, I had a busy week here. So yesterday, C, uh, CBS this morning, a uh, CBS Sunday morning was here with three cameras. Whoa! I said, I said to the guy, three, and he goes, well, you know, we yeah, don't we don't want to miss the action. 
Yes, he said, uh, the editor of Mad will have his own camera. You'll have your own camera. And David Pogue, get David Pogue uh, is on that show oh. a lot uh, Sunday morning. Oh, cool. And David Pogue is a huge uh, Mad fan. So he was perfect for this. Oh, that's great. Also, David Pogue is a brave man because about three months ago, he went down in that submarine <gasps> to see the Titanic. No. Wait, I, I, he, you're right. He had the footage. Yes. He, I, I said, I said, <laughs> how? That's right. I said, David, I'm claustrophobic. I said, he said, oh yeah, it's a little nerve wracking when you sit in this tube that's about eight feet long and a man comes out with a big power tool and bolts, yeah. 12 bolts. And goes, here's how we, the, the, <laughs> there's no door. There's You're no just door. bolted inside. They bolt on the uh, front porthole. And oh, he said, you're down there for eight hours. I think it's like four hours down or three hours down. You have an hour to look around. Uh, 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 amazing. You've got to imagine he has had some sweating nights just she, yes, <laughs> laying in bed, just going, whoa. Yes. <laughs> dodge three, three dodge the bullet that, with that. <laughs> three months later, that submarine imploded. Yeah. That, that, <sighs> amazing. Man. And, and, uh, the chat is saying, and everything I've ever heard, Scooter X uh, is saying, David is a very nice guy. Same thing that I've ever heard uh, spoken about him is that he seems like a really nice fellow. So, oh, he's great. He, yeah. He's just, and also he's one of these people that you can say anything terrible about, <laughs> and he thinks it's. So, he, he came up to Mad a bunch of times, and once he uh, he came up with his kids, and as he came in the door, I said, "Oh God, he didn't steal enough Mad." original art last time now he brings the kids who knows what we're gonna miss when they leave now yeah. and he's laughing anyway he did leave with a lot of stuff yeah, which we just hate him because he is such a mad fan um, I, I guess anyway, I worked I directly with him Captain Jay's right he's been on Twitter I don't honestly Twit was such a fever dream I can't remember who I did and did not work with <laughs> It's possible. I, it's possible. There's so that. many people that I see on television to this day, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forget. I emailed that guy. <laughs> yes, like, yes. I'm like, I talked to that guy. I talked to that guy on Skype. Like, yeah, I, I me and him, just me and him. Absolutely. Um, and yeah, I, I forget <laughs> all the time. It doesn't seem real. Um, no, it's fun. Well, that is then, awesome. You got three. Cameras. So, did it, was each camera like there? It was almost like when you see someone step up to a podium and there's like sixteen microphones, and it's because like each mic is for a different station. Yeah, it was kind of like that. You had not, three cameras. Not in your face. They were off to the side, but each one was focused on one of us. And then they, uh, you know about this because you're in the biz. They need two minutes of room sound. Oh yeah. So when they edit and they have to, they want to edit sentences together. They need like three millimeters of room sound. Yeah, they'll need. So, they need the exact sound that the AC makes in your exactly, room. <laughs> exactly, so that there's no change in uh, pitch or sound or anything when they're editing pieces together. So that that was uh, a lot of fun. And then today was housewares for the holidays. Oh wow. Uh, on by the uh, International Housewives Association. So next week, and maybe even the week after, I'll have new um, housewares coming out soon for the holidays. That's awesome. And, That's great. Yeah. yeah, it was great. Also, it killed me. They sent everybody, or Dennis and I, um, vouchers for uh, Uber. Oh. And my Uber account said, you have two vouchers waiting. And so I'm going from... West 82nd Street to West 18th Street and said, sorry, there are no cars in your neighborhood. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, I know. So anyway, we went down. I said to Dennis, just jump on the train. Uh, leaving, 
you know, West 18th Street and 6th Avenue. I go to Uber. I'm going from 18th Street and 6th Avenue to my home. Uh, looking, looking. Sorry, there are no cars in your neighborhood. I'm thinking, what? what? In New York, Manhattan? What? Yeah. I'm thinking, what do they figure? There's a voucher? Let's not trust the voucher. Just tell them there are no cars. Yeah. Or like, is there some something going on? Is there like a strike? Like, <laughs> like something you don't know? Like, what? Who am, I, am I in the wrong for ordering this? Like, do y'all you, not operate here at the moment? That That's riot. ridiculous. And anyway. Yeah, trying to run a business here. You don't got any. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. Um, anyway, yeah. should we jump in? Let's jump in. Uh, this first, uh, it'd be interesting if you could ever guess what this is. Here we go. Okay, here we go. It's time for a nearly impossible. impossible. What? What the heck is it? Okay. Eh? This is it. Now, uh, uh, I will explain. Paper? You're looking uh, at a bunch of them, and I will push one out, and you can see what one of them is. I have an idea. That is what one of them is. What the heck? Oh, you stick it in your nose to stop you from snoring. <laughs> <gasps> oh, that's, that's a, a good great... Idea. Do you put Maybe it in an like outlet to make it oh, safe I, I for children? This, and I had to buy you it. You pretty much have it, Chad, almost. Oh! It would work. They are. Uh, 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 I had no idea. Snug plugs. All right, now if you live in a modern house, oh. you will not need these. But snug plugs are for outlets that are very old, and the plugs fall out. My oh. bedroom, I the vacuum cleaner has a very heavy plug, this and as you're vacuuming, the plug just falls out of the wall. Um, so that's where we're going to try this. They theoretically glow in the dark, but I don't know what that gets you, because if you're using one, the plug is going to be in covering it. It says, improves electrical connection. I don't know how that can be when it seems to be a piece of plastic. Now, I don't know what it costs for them to build machines to make these, but I, I think I paid $10 for this. $11 for oh. so th These are like a buck a piece. A buck $10. So let yeah, us that's got to cost them like a half cent. A snug cent. plug works. On your nose or in the stuff? No, in the stuff. <laughs> on an outlet. We will go and find out. We're going to do a worst case scenario here. Okay? So I thought it was for so kids to not have get into an it. Yes, for check plugs. That the outlet is sort of falling in a bit, all right? So a plug just doesn't stand a chance. Oh my gosh, yeah. This doesn't stand a chance of staying in the wall, okay? Because it can't get in far enough. I mean, if you held it in, the light would go on. So, worst case, we'll try one of those in that and see if that helps at all. So, it's this little guy, and all you do is stick it in there, okay? And let's see if it will hold the plug in. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. It's perfect. It does work. It does work. Now, the thing is, you know, you... Is the snug plug in the plug? It came oh, out I see. with the plug. I see. Uh, which doesn't matter. But the thing is, it does work. And I don't know where the glow in the dark part comes in. I don't think that matters. But whoever invented it, it does work. I'm surprised. That I'm surprised too. What a what a great solution for a problem that I know that a lot of people have. The only yeah. thing I can think about the glow in the dark feature is if right after you unpackaged it, you went around the house and stuck it in every single plug, and then it's kind of if the lights are off. And you're like, oh, I got to plug in this lamp. And oh, they had okay, been on, right. you know. You well, I know. assume that, that that some lights had been on because those yeah. things need to suck some light in. To I glow. guess. Or something. I don't know. I, I agree. It's pretty limited use case. Uh, yeah. And it's interesting because 
It wasn't until today when I was looking through the description uh, for the show. It said, be aware that the snug plug may come out when you unplug the device, which oh. it did, which yeah. is no big deal. Just stick it back into the outlet. Yeah. Uh, but if you have this a loose outlet, it's worth it. And it, it's cheaper. If you have, if you have a, an old, old house and a ton of outlets, buy the 25 pack. And then it drops down to like 80 cents a plug. Yeah. This definitely needs to be on Alibaba or Wish for like a Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Isn't uh, our buddy Scooter X going to find it? Maybe. Now. I mean, that's like, I mean, uh, I mean, how entitled am I? I'm like, this needs to be cheaper. I guess someone invented this, you know, and they had an idea I've never thought of. Uh, ho if Hopefully the inventor is making as much money as they deserve, but. Seems expensive for a piece of plastic. It, I it agree. does. It does. I'm, it's a tiny piece of plastic. Uh, um, I wouldn't want to sit around with a piece of cardboard and try to make my own. No, it's just no. And I, I saw some people in the chat saying, you know, oh, well, I take my plugs and I kind of bend them out. And I agree, I do that with some, but some you can't do that with, um, like the power brick you had, or like an actual, you know computer power in this like this that they're showing in in, in uh you know you can't That's bend very yeah, you can't to... bend that um and then someone else in the chat room said well i typically take a screwdriver and then i stick it in the socket and i move it no i'm just joking that was it <laughs> they, they actually said that but they were joking as well and uh oh, okay. i found it very funny and i it scrolled past i need to give that person credit who said that because that was very very funny um i can't I can't find who did it. Um, there it is, Mr. Dave. Thank you, Mr. Dave, for the funny joke. Um, okay, with that, that's a great guy. I like that one. I like I like that a lot. Um, okay, here's gadget number two. Not a what the heck is it? There's a flashlight on Amazon that's getting really good reviews. I'll just show it to you here, okay? The Barut, mate, possibly. Powerful keychain flashlight with UV, all those other lights. 10,000, uh, 1,000 lumens pocket, mini pocket flashlight with 14 modes. 14? I, I, I don't get, well, you'll hear me say it. 14 uh, modes okay, is too many is modes. It's actually mm -hmm. making me want to buy it less. Comes with a little uh, ring for your keychain. Uh, you know, I, this is a little big for a keychain, I think. Uh, the edge yeah, has, as big as your thumb. Out here. <laughs> that's uh, big as your thumb. USB-C charging. Maybe as long, but definitely not and as wide. It's magnetic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, you would run the ring through that little corner. You're not, you're not going to use the magnet to hold it to your key. Chain. Wait, it's right next to the this keys, the magnet? Uh, seems Yeah, it's a little chain. weird. Like a fatal flaw. So, hold it. This is one of those... One button, two buttons, three presses. Okay. Hold in both buttons. I'm going to actually oh, lower no. the overhead. Hang on a second. All right, so we shut the lights off. So this is instant on. And instant on gives you, I believe, the 1,000 watts. Okay? So you press it, it comes on, and it stays on. You double press it. And then you get low beam, medium, high beam, and then it goes back to low beam. And the camera is, yeah, okay. is leveling a and lot of this out. Then you hold the other button in. And for some reason, <laughs> if you want, you can have an alarm. Okay? Nice. It's flashing red and blue and that sound. All right. Now you double press on this button. One, two. And now... This is what I understand. It brings a series of lights on the side. The front of the flashlight isn't lit. You have a yellow light, a green light, a red oh, light, and a I blue see. light, and flashing. But why? And then flashing red and blue. And as I said, you can add the sound later. Because oh, it needs 14 different modes. Stop this from going. <laughs> That's why. Okay, so... Had to do hit it three times, a bunch of times. It, this is the black light, and I don't know. In the picture, they show they show the black light on money. So I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure what you look for on money to find out if it's true or not. Or maybe for Halloween. Or counterfeit. That's the little black, uh, the little black light in there. It's between the two white LEDs. So that's another feature of, uh, this flashlight. So for, for, for my use, I would have no use for those side, uh, LED lights or the black light. And for what it is, for the use I have, it's not worth $22. But I'm going to have Chad go to the page for this, the bow root, because it turns out there is a newer version that does even more. And I think it's like 10 bucks more. So it's like 32 or so. So we'll take a peek at that. But if you need an alarm, this might be. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe they what? made this whole hack, the whole second button. I, I don't. Get, I, I'm not quite sure why you want a blue light and a red light and a. I guess so. You're saying that oh, it, it, it even went up. The yeah. one I bought is now twenty four dollars. But there's a ten percent off. Oh, ten percent. Yeah. And then I think if you scroll down a little, it'll say there's a newer version of this. Yeah, I saw that. There yeah. it is. Thirty three dollars. Yeah. Five dollar coupon on that. Oh, and it's still just fourteen modes. Oh, but now oh, the head it swivels. The head swivels. Oh. But do you want to spend thirty three dollars? No, I don't. The, the extra lights on the side are such an interesting feature, like these. Yes. So that's what's happening. So you have the torches on the front, but then you also have these LEDs on the side, and that's what's making the blues and the crazy and then colors. You have, a, you have a black light. And the back light, that small one in the center. Yeah, in the center. It's, it's an interesting change of pace. <laughs> yeah. It's very novel. I don't I don't quite like the like that's, I keep trying to, st this is kind of neat. You could Wait, use it. How much did, oh no. I think Scooter X found it for $8, $7.50. Uh, oh. Now you're talking. Let's see, let's see. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, there we go. Six bucks with some shipping. Ooh. Looks like some. Oh. there's some shipping costs. Yeah. There's two okay, of them. Okay, so you don't have the deluxe one yet. There's also this one for 12 Okay. Yeah, it doesn't have that swivel head. But look, there's, like, I mean, a lot of these are similar. Oh, my, oh my gosh. That's, that's actually it? the first one, yeah. That one doesn't have the swivel head. This one does. <gasps> Here's the plus. Oh it's my the same God. brand. Is it not? It's brand. It's the same, same brand. It's just cheaper. Almost $25 cheaper. Yeah. Look, this is what they sell it on Amazon. <laughs> oh my god. This gosh. is actually accurate. I'm actually more surprised by that. <laughs> oh, it is accurate. It is accurate. Buy it on Amazon for $32. Buy it here for seven. That is so that funny. Is amazing. Oh, that's the 10 volt, check for the 20 volt. So this is why Scooter X is a professional and I am just dabbling. I am just a hobbyist AliExpresser <laughs> is because uh, the, the power difference is, uh, is a factor to be, to be factored. So anyway, they, it looks like there's less expensive options. Um, but yeah, I don't know if this is out of the flashlights that we've covered on the show, and we have covered a lot. Yeah, not not one that sticks out as one that I feel like I need to go out there and get. No, me either. Me either. Okay. okay. Um, anyway, all right. Now my final. What the heck is it? And you, being a techie, might get this. Okay. One. okay. It's another. I think difficult. What the heck is it? Uh, uh, um. Huh. Um. Oh. I mean, it looks ring-like, but I don't know what it would do. It's like a ring or something. <laughs> it does look like a Me ring. It almost can be used as a ring. I'll even tell you the name. Inchin? Inchin. All right. I think I've seen uh, them at CES. 
It's easy to just go directly to. Is it a mouse? Uh, Amazon. Uh, almost. It is remote control oh, no Bluetooth scrolling ring. Oh. For TikTok, it can be a page turner for Kindle apps <laughs> or a wireless camera remote. Oh. All right. So now I bought it because I have never found an app that has let me turn my video camera on and off remotely. They let me take snapshots, but it won't trigger video. All right. That's why I bought it. All right. Now I theoretically <laughs> paired it to my phone. So there's no app for this. Okay. You just charge this and then it says, look for, I forgot what they call it. I think it's like, uh, IOA Pro or something. You see that? Which you're looking for in Bluetooth. A, A, A1 and Pro. And you pair Bluetooth. it to that. So now just for laughs, I'm going to just see if it remembered from this afternoon when I paired this up. Turn on video. So, uh, surprise, surprise. In the bottom, there's a little push button, which you push. Wow. And it says... It will be your phone holder. Oh! Okay. So I thought it was going to be used for a I mean, dongle it's not much for of a, a second. Phone holder. You have to make sure your phone is dead center, <laughs> otherwise it will move from one side to the other. And this is also one of those impossible. You have to carry the instruction book with you everywhere. It's three buttons, and it's long press, short press double press to do all the functions which are numerous okay i just want to i just want to turn on my video camera and i think it was the center button so go to the screen there and let's see no no huh. oh, it seemed like it did respond in some way oh okay oh. camera reverse works Okay, the top button is moving my camera from front from to rear. Okay, so that's selfie something. to oh, the desk. Cool. All right, so let's go back to that, and now let's see if I can start video. Oh. What did it just show? Oh, it just <laughs> locked <laughs> it. Uh, go back to that. So now let me press the bottom button. Oh, and you know what? It's recording video. Uh, uh, uh. It is. All right. So this does what I want it to. Okay. So now I'm going to stop video. I guess I'm just going to hold it in. No, I didn't realize it's, it's a different blinking. button to stop Let it. Hold it in longer. Well, actually, every time I push it, Let it restarts the, the video. Ah. So the bottom Maybe button it was also starts just a click. Okay. So the bottom yeah. button the bottom button starts it, the top button stops it. Okay. Oh, Alright, so it does what I what I want it so to do. This you know, it's one of those single click, double click, swipe, long press, single click, double click, long press. Oh uh, my god. Swipe right, swipe left. <laughs> Oh my God! Like Chad had a gadget like this. You have to carry this no. with you all the time. Um, I did no, scroll up and down on the screen using the ring. The thing is, it's twenty bucks. So if you want to play with it, and there's something very weird about it. It says, uh, "I don't use TikTok," so uh, it says for starting and stopping and zooming through TikTok videos. Uh, but it also says, "Great for turning pages." in an e-reader and it says Kindle type works with Kindle type apps, but does not work with the Kindle 20 bucks. <laughs> this could be a lot of fun or heartache and pain. Okay. Well, you spent $20 on it. Oh no. Did someone find it? They found, and they haven't found that exact one, but it is uh, much less expensive. And it looks very similar. <clears throat> Here it is for 
a dollar. Oh my! Oh wait a minute, five buttons. <laughs> yeah, this one has more oh buttons. God. Oh, you know, five buttons is probably better. You I know see. what I think? Five buttons is better. Because <laughs> you'd be able to go left, right. You'd be able to like tell it which way to swipe. Oh, look, here's the three button version. Oh my god! That looks exactly like yours. For that $2. is it. Look at the charging case yeah, with the, the opening case. door. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. it. And then this there's also this stretch? other option, 99 cents is five buttons as well. So it's the same five buttons, but only 99 cents instead of uh, like a dollar. Oh my god. We gosh. had to save 30 cents. Uh, <laughs> and it even comes in white, black, and pink. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's a really interesting that it has so much of that built in. It does. It Man. does. Also, it's kind of interesting. It says it works with Kindle apps. But not the but Kindle. Not Kindle. It's because I don't think the Kindle will allow Bluetooth to be connected oh, that way. Oh, okay. Right? I it's like the actual physical device, it won't allow it. But, uh, uh, yes, but a Kindle it's, it's, app with a phone is fine. Okay. Uh, Here's the one that you got. 22 yeah. No, no, no. The, the case charges it. Caesar's asking how you charge it. You charge the case, and the case keeps that charged. Yeah, that's so cool. Uh, I like it, though. Like, I think it's a really neat, even though you may not have gotten the best price. <laughs> I like yeah. the gadget. And, and I, it's USB-C. And it comes with a little USB-C cable. Now, is there any way to customize what the buttons do? Can I say, you okay, what? instead of me triple-clicking. I did not see that. Yeah. That'd be cool too. Like if it had like a companion app and I could set in the app, okay, a double click up actually double taps my screen so I can like, you know, whatever TikTok I'm on or whatever. That'd be neat if I could kind of customize it and have three custom buttons instead of yeah. you 14 see buttons that I have to memorize exactly. D double press and hold this for three seconds and then release. I would end up having seven rings in a row and i would say the first ring starts my video the second <laughs> stops my video the third ring and because <laughs> that way i don't have to go through remembering it reminds me of the amazon was it those dash buttons do you remember those oh my gosh and that was to order something mm -hmm. wasn't it mm -hmm. if you always wanted to get a box if you needed a box of tide yes didn't you have a picture of a tide yeah, and exactly. They had the branding oh, on there them. They there they are. I like how this is the one that is like highlighted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think that was a real one. This seems like it was fake, and, but it's funny oh, that it's there. How many good. Nerf do you need? Wait, you need to order Nerf bullets that often? It made sense that, with Tide, you know. It's like, ah, that, I'm out of that. Riot. Yeah, but those, uh, the, there was a big hack hacking scene of on how to hack those, because I mean, what, it, any time that you basically give away hardware so that it will help you with a service, which is kind of what they were doing. They were making the buttons really cheap, or you could get them for free or something like that, and then you just hit them and you get the thing delivered. So people would hack these buttons to do all sorts of stuff too, because they were internet connected devices. They had they had little computers in them. They could connect to Wi-Fi. So I just remember people would hack those buttons. So I remember seeing like you'd hit the button and then it'd start your Tesla up. Oh, oh stuff oh, like I that. Okay. Or they'd okay. hit the button. This is right when uh, Hue uh, bulbs kind of hit the scene as it was about that time. So you could hit the yep, button yep. and have the Hue lights do something. It was like one of the very first Internet of Things thing that I remember uh, getting hacked around with. Um, Okay, tangent over. Where where are we? Uh, oh, I like the um, uh, uh, little button thingy. I think it is cool. Yeah, I, w I think it's a little complicated. I wish it was customizable, but other than that, pretty good. Yeah, especially if you want it on AliExpress. My God, they're cheap. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things that I spend two dollars on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of hard to argue with that. With that, let's move on to the crappy corner. But you might want it at Chad's crappy corner. 
get it. Okie dokie. Well, the poll um, is out, and okay. the options were train gadgets. Now, these train gadgets were, uh, this is actually suggested by, da, 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 da. let me see if I can get this up. Oops, that's the wrong one. Um, that one was suggested, and the idea is that they have a 40-minute commute. This is Jason. Train gadgets, things to use on a train, or in the shape of a train. I have a 40-minute commute each day on the train. So that was the inspiration for oh, that. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. Uh, so whether you're comm commuting by plane, train, or bus, these gadgets are supposed to make the trip smoother. The next category to vote on was beat the heat. Summer's heating up. Let's oh, dive into some of the gadgets to promote be. your coolness or gas station gadgets. Weird and wacky items that you can snag at a gas station from mega large trucker supplies to the quirkiest finds and buckies. We'll see which gadgets are worth the pit stop. So what do you uh, think? Okay. Uh, I think it was the second one. Okay. I think train gadgets, people are going to misunderstand what it is. Okay. Beat the, the second heat. One, beat the heat. I think beat the heat. Or gas station. And you think beat yeah. the heat? Beat it the was heat. close. It was 38%, 31%, 31%. That's how oh close my gosh. it was. Train gadgets actually was the winner. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? Train gadgets. Oh my word. Yeah. So we are going to be commuting on public transit this whole month, which is, uh, okay. is okay. what, what we're going to be, be up to. Uh, so thank you for the suggestions. If you're a patron, make your way over to Patreon. Put in a suggestion for next month's poll. We already have, I think we have too many at this point. But honestly, I'm still <laughs> going to ask because uh, there's some really good ones. Um, but, uh, but yeah, get them on over there. With the, uh, Without further ado, I recorded my crappy corner. So let's check it out. Hey, Diggy D. So as you already know, the theme for this month is train gadgets. Uh, which are like commuter type gadgets. So I'm thinking if you are taking a bus or a train or some type of transit, uh, typically, uh, I, I was trying to remember back to the time that I took a bus and I did in Boy Scouts. And you know what annoyed me the most? The sun. Okay. I wish it could be just deleted. It, uh, it was so annoying, the sun in my face. And the only way to mitigate that was this big bar that was broken on our window. So I thought of ways to block out the sun on a typical drive. Uh, and, uh, I found two options. Both of them were so inexpensive that I wanted to test them both. Uh, one uses suction cups. One uses more of like a cling, uh, to the window. Both were under uh, six dollars, so around five dollars. We're gonna look at the one with the suction cup uh, first. Both of these are auto drive, and they're also both available at Walmart. So this one, whoa, oh, whoa, oh my wow. gosh, you get two of them. I know it said two pieces, but I was thinking that like maybe it was two pieces to put together. I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't realize you got two shades. Let's take the uh, paper off of the suction cups. Oh, this one's bent. That's a little, it seems like the paper is specifically there to make sure that it comes in pristine condition and the paper bent it. <laughs> okay. And then now imagine I'm on a bus or a plane or something like oh, that. Okay. okay. Imagine, just imagine. Uh, okay. Yeah. This one that's bent. I mean, I need to help it out here. There we go. Okay. It's pretty shady. Now, unfortunately, the conditions, it's not direct sunlight. We have a little bit of uh, a shade over there. I would say that this blocks a pretty good amount of sun, though. And then, oh, I see these. Uh, oh, no, I don't see. Okay, I was <laughs> thinking that these uh, oh my gosh. would help get that off the with some mechanism. But no, it doesn't. I thought that the, these pull tabs. No, okay. And then I guess to get rid of it. You do however you want to do to fold it. And I don't see a strap or a bag. Okay, so that's that one option. Once again, pretty inexpensive. The second option is 
this one, it only says one piece. So there you go. Peel off here. Now what I wanted to know was, was is this reusable or not? Or is this kind of one time use? And I would be the guinea pig for this. Okay, so it's just a window cling with a whole bunch of uh, dots cut out of a black cling. I like, I remember this material from like, uh, Halloween. It's the same sort of stuff we put up on the windows. There you go. There you go. That's way darker. It has darkened a lot better. And I have a pretty good confidence that this is reusable. It's not the best that it came like, I wish that it was a little bit, I don't want to put it back on a piece of paper, but maybe if I was traveling, I wonder if I'd be like, okay, time to get out of here. I'm, that was a useful window cling. I think this would totally work. If you rolled this up, now you'd still want to keep the roll protected, but totally reusable. I would say this is a way better option than these. It also folds down a lot smaller. And with it on there, it looks a lot less weird. Um, and uh, I saw on here that there are uh, instructions on how to clean it. So uh, wash with warm soapy water, rinse and blot dry, uh, which I had already uh, spied on there. So there are a few ways to add shade to a bright situation. Okie dokie. Um, pretty good. Yeah. So I ended up really liking the window cling a lot better than the suction cups. Um, also, the thought was like you're commuting. This seems so extra to like pull out. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm ready to block the shade. Here we go. Where this seems so much more, uh, you could probably just do this without anyone seeing and it would be a really nice sunblock. Um, so that's, uh, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Um, let's okay. find them online. <clears throat> Here is the shade, the clean shade. $4.37. Oh, yeah. Exactly. It doesn't get much cheaper than that. So, uh, and this is available, you know, at a Walmart. So you can just walk in and, and pick one up. Here is the other option with the suction cups. Also super inexpensive. Four dollars and ninety-eight cents for that uh, for that option. Okie Very dokie, Very and uh, I might I might have to book a trip on the Bright Line. I saw some people <laughs> uh, in the in the chat talking about you know do I have a a train? I do. There's a train here, so um, I've already actually ordered. I've already done all my research. I ordered them all. There, it might be possible to book a book a a Brightline trip and test out some of my gadgets on the train. Oh, the Brightline is very big down there, right? It is. It is. It goes all the way down to Miami, and it stops here in Orlando. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, that'd be cool. No guarantees, but when I saw today that it was the winner, I was thinking in my head that that would be pretty cool. Um Okay, well, with that, let's move on to Nick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Nick's Gadget Warehouse. Okay, a very short note from Chris H. who says, hi, Dick and Chad. Here's my entry for the Gadget Warehouse. Oh. Hello, Chad. This is my gadget. It is the SOL <laughs> Rechargeable Lighter. SOL stands for Survive Outdoors Longer. Oh, I'm just taking a guess. It's also kind of a play on yeah. SOL. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it's a rechargeable lighter intended to be used, uh, at least I'm using it as kind of a survival, uh, thing for when I'm out hiking and, uh, trail running. So if I pop it open here, push the button, you get that little X shape there and that's the lights. Wow. If I flip it over or turn it around, um, as a USB-A oh. mini 
little dot right next to it is is the recharging light also turns on. Oh, I see. When you, you it. it's oh, one of those oh, plasma oh. lighter things. A little black yes. nub, the little black button thing there is the. Uh, it's it's kind of a safety thing. I, th I thought it was a safety thing, but it's also used, I believe, to turn on the flashlight portion oh, or oh, allow the flashlight right. per uh, portion to turn on. Oh, I see. So when I close it, there's a little plastic piece on the top here that pushes this down. So I'll close it. And then if I press and hold, flashlight Ooh. turns on. Oh, double press clever. it. Goes to kind of a lower setting there. And then if I double press it again, I get a strobe. And uh, that is it. This goes with me on every run, hike out in the mountains. Um, and hopefully I never have to use it. All right, thanks guys. That's really, really cool. Yeah. Like now that. he didn't tell us where he got his. I found it on Amazon. It's pricey on Amazon, but I'm sure Scooter X will find it for us on Alibaba. Um, I think it, I forgot how much it is. I just thought it was more. I found, I found something thought. similar too on. Uh, oh my God, that can't be. Yeah, it says generic. Yeah, I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know about that one. No, $59. Uh, oh, that was Walmart, right? Yeah, that was Walmart. Here, let me see. What was the one you had? I think it was 30 Let me see, 39 yeah. yeah, 36 Yeah. It still seems expensive, doesn't it? I get, yes, I would agree for just a lighter. But I guess if the point is that the battery and stuff is going to last a long time and, like, never... If it's more of survival... Yeah, that could be. Once you kind I mean, of... I, I, we, we've seen those lighters, but I've never seen a lighter with a flashlight in the bottom. Exactly, exactly. And once you start... I mean, I don't know. It could just be branding and marketing, but it seems like that adds something to the price. <laughs> um, and I have seen a few people in chat. I've seen you know, Chumley saying it now. Let me see. Uh, that mentioned... Oh, Chumley mentioned it before, too. Chumley mentioned that SOL is a brand name and they spend money oh, okay. on... So, like, you know, there are... A much better company now than Scooter X also. Oh, uh, Scooter X had it for eight fifty four. Oh, very different light though. Not the same. Not the not uh, SOL. Yeah, yeah, very different design. Oh yeah, very different. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I would agree. It looks expensive, but it also looks like looks like one of those products you find sold at REI. You know? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> It's like, exactly. it's like, why is this spoon forty dollars? Oh, sure, sir, that is a uh, pure tungsten. Oh, oh, okay, uh, so, <laughs> yeah. huh? Uh, didn't uh, know and I exactly, it. how much is your life worth? <laughs> exactly. Why you does this cup out? cost one hundred and five dollars? Oh, that's made with moon rocks. Uh, it's light. It's the lightest cup in the world. Ah, oh, okay, well, that's good to know. Um, really cool though. I'd like. I and by the way, for Gadget Warehouse perfect gadget especially any if anyone owns anything that is specific to a niche or a hobby please send it our way like that is a survival plasma light thing yeah send we've it our way if you we've if you plasma things we've never yeah. seen a combo yeah uh that was from chris chris said i love the show um, so Chris will get the current issue of Mad Magazine, the one that just came out, and we're looking for more videos, anything, any kind of gadget you have, just make a little video, one to three minutes, just make sure it's in landscape mode, we can see the gadget and hear you, you can be in it if you want, or just describe the gadget as Chris did, I'll put it up on YouTube, and you can click unlisted when you upload it that way only people with the url will be able to see it and email us that url to mail at gizwiz.tv mail at gizwiz.tv and yeah we're running out of video so do it we need one for next week do it do it and do we'd it love somebody new to do it anything somebody old anything that was expensive back in the day. Anything you can't get rid of. Anything that is unique to a hobby you have. 
right? Other people may not know. Anything that is like culturally different, like European versus American versus, That's good. That's you know, good. any of those things. We, we love that stuff. It did not, oh my gosh, I just, Captain Jay just got me. He said the sign fell off the TV. Um, okay, with that, let's move on to the letter. Our letter is from Steve Miller 22. Now I've not clicked on the link, but Steve Miller said that both of us should get this gadget so our dogs can appear on the Gizwiz more often. Okay. 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 So let's see what that gadget is from Steve. M- what? Ah. What is this? <laughs> This is a, oh, are you kidding me? Oh, oh my, my gosh. It's like a very sturdy second story dog option. It's very. Oh, wait, it's $235? Very sturdy. More sturdy than it needs to be. Wow. Oh my gosh. It is the seat mate. A seat mate. You get him up off the floor. Oh my gosh. No, I think I'm just going to continue to take the camera off the video and <laughs> put it on the floor with Charlie. Oh my God. That is uh, cute, though. Know, oh, the, the, the real price is $395. I don't think so. $400. Anyway, it's a funny idea. Yeah. I mean, uh, I feel like I could find a wedge of foam for. Uh, it would do very similar things. Yes. Four hundred dollars. It looks very nice. I think it's it's probably a four hundred dollar piece of, of furniture, but I'm not willing to spend. I don't think my chair is worth four hundred dollars. I would feel <laughs> a little like something wasn't right if if my dog had a better <laughs> yes yeah. chair than me. Yeah. And, uh, and Char- Charlie doesn't like ramps anyway, so. Charlie has yeah. very particular. He seems he's scared of ramps. He's scared he, of. Uh, yes, I I bought stairs. I have a very high bed, which he, as he got old, he couldn't jump as high. So I bought stairs. Terrified of them, I finally uh, gave them to a friend of mine who said, "Oh, my dog can't get up on my bed." I said, "You want to fly the stairs?" That's really. Uh, I like the. <laughs> You need flat as there. I really like that this is uh, a bed, though. Like, the the idea is, it sits right next to your chair. You know, I feel like yes. that's and I like that the ramp folds up, and, right? And, and it can be a piece of furniture, right? I like but that. Not for the price. Pet? Oh, is there's pet ramp? Ramp? How much is a typical pet ramp? If I just wanted to get one, like, see, here's the problem. Is I don't know. I, this is just me just clicking the thing real fast. Which apparently, I can't. I can't click. That's only sixty bucks. Now it doesn't have a nice little spot for the animal, but. Well, you just put it up to any chair you have. <laughs> buy a cat tree. I can buy a cat tree for thirty bucks. It ro- goes into the cat. Anyway, very cool. I like the. Uh, I like the Kickstarter link, but uh, yeah, not for four hundred. It, it's too pricey for us, Stephen. But yeah. it's a. Gr- it's fun to see it. Thank you. It is. It is. Okie dokie. Want to say thank you to our patrons over at Patreon.com/slash/Gizwiz. Thank you guys so 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 much for supporting our show. We just asked y'all to help me out with our Patreon poll, and y'all did. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you like the Gizwiz, please consider giving back, patreon.com slash gizwiz, or you can head on over to gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and uh, there's a big banner that'll take you to Patreon, or a small little link that'll take you to PayPal. Uh, Thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. If uh, you head on over to our website, it will be updated with the live stream. Make sure you join the chat room, chat along with all the fantastic people. If you miss the live show, all of our episodes are there on our website after the fact. So uh, go check them out. 
Head on over to gizwiz.biz. That's Dickie D's website where he writes articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about on the show. So if you're ever needing, needing a link back to a gadget or gizmo, gizwiz.biz is the place to go. While you're there, pl play what the heck is it? This is the game show online where you get to play for this man magazine signed by Dickie D himself. You just gotta know, what the heck is that gadget? Hmm. I, th this is obviously, obviously a black hole catcher invented <laughs> by the CERN scientists. Uh, if you think you know what this is, get a guess in. Gizwiz.biz, six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guess in over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.